Hey guys, welcome back for a new video. Today I am going to discuss the sample problem of the Kickstart 2022 problem. So here the problem simply suggests that uh, there you have n bags of candy and each bag contains some amount of candies and such that you have to distribute these candy among m kids. Here uh, there is a given condition that if uh, every bag contains some amount of candies means to say if I just simply go to your input section here to suggest your test cases and here test cases is taken as t as a variable so here you can see that there are seven uh, types of bags and you have to distribute this among three children here three is your children so uh, if i want to say you that uh, here seven suggests your number of candies and here each bag contains some amount of candies such that first bag contain one then second contain two candies and so on so here if i want to explain you with the explanation of the input so you have to take n is equal to 7 bags of candy and each bag contains some amount of candies and their sum is equal to 28 and you have to distribute these candies between 3 kids so it means to say if i divide 28 with 3 then the remainder will be 1 so you have to just simply output the remainder and if i want to show you with the code here is the simple code i have taken integer t is your test cases and i simply store this value now i have taken two variable namely n and c and i have I have taken and stored this value where n is your number of candies and c is the number of children to be distributed now i have taken this remainder now this remainder will be i will explain you later so i have made an, ar an array for all the input of the candies and for that i have made a loop from i is equal to 0 to i i less than n means to say the loop will go from 0 to n minus 1 and i have simply stored this value means to say if you uh, if i simply show you the values there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 will be the input of your arrays so now i have taken a sum now you have to print their sum and such that you have to give the remainder now you uh, here the n will be your size of the candy divided by size of the candy at 0th index now you have to go for each index so that now you i is equal to 0 the loop will go from i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 now you have to print and you have to have to update the sum as per your index now you have to print the remainder so this is the main function now where i have taken this as int, uh, int data type now remainder is equal to sum percentile or modulo c now you have to simply print the sum now if i would like to show you the uh, test code this is your simple test code and if i want to run this test code just wait a second i would just want to show you now here you can see there is return it is completed means to say there is no any Complic complication in the code. I hope you like my explanation. Keep coding. Thanks for watching.